going to wait on her. But like I was saying, Number he's nine. in on time. Go. Yes, he is. Developing right now at 6 o'clock, the family of the missing 12-year-old girl celebrating the news that she was found safe. Now, the focus is shifting to a man that police arrested after he was found with the girl. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. HPD says she was found in Columbus, Texas, which is roughly an hour and a half away from where she was last seen. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is live in Missouri City, where the family awaits her return. Rowan. Now, Keith, Daniela, first we want to share exactly how we are covering this moving forward. Out of an abundance of caution, we are no longer identifying the 12 year old or using her image as we learn more about the investigation and the arrest of a 27 year old man. 27 year old Sir Terion Preston arrested in Columbus. The police department sharing on Facebook, he was found with the missing 12 year old girl who triggered an Amber Alert this week. I got your baby. The sixth graders family celebrating she was found safe. I've been waiting to see you. As the investigation continues, Jacqueline Oludo is with nonprofit No Traffic Zone. I would tell parents to do today is make sure that your child's phones, any digital devices are being tracked so that you understand the content and the people that they're talking to. And then I would sit down and I would have a really serious conversation with them. She recommends Bark, which monitors the content kids are seeing. The prices range from $6 a month to 40. You can use it on Apple and Android devices. A free option is Life 360, which tracks each family member's devices and allows parents to retrace where their child has visited. All of those apps are very important because they're going to notify you of what your child is doing. Um, I like the phone where there's no internet because then your child can always be in contact with you, but they're not getting targeted by algorithms. They can't go on social media. Now, Jacqueline also recommends families coming up with a safe word or even an emoji to use in a group conversation or text message, alerting everyone that someone needs the other person's help. And Columbus police sharing with us that the 12 year old was taken to Children's Texas Hospital where she is being evaluated. Live in Missouri City, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. Roman, thank you.